so let us look at this question number 60 so this question number 60 is about green hydrogen let us read the question then we'll look at the solution with reference to green hydrogen consider the following statements it can be used directly as a fuel for internal combustion it can be blended with natural gas and used as a fuel for heat or power generation it can be used in the hydrogen fuel cell to run vehicles and the options the tricky options that upsc has used that will also look at so green hydrogen what is the significance of this topic or why this question was asked so green hydrogen uh, is considered to be future fuel and government of india has also realized this and government has started the national green hydrogen mission with the objective to make india as a hub of manufacturing of green hydrogen and also to make it as a hub for export of green hydrogen so why are we calling hydrogen as let us say green hydrogen or why we call hydrogen as a blue hydrogen gray hydrogen brown hydrogen so the hydrogen that we get so what is hydrogen hydrogen is the lightest element so you would have remembered in periodic table that it is the first element in our periodic table in fact after big bang the first element that was formed was hydrogen only if you look at the structure of hydrogen so you just have a proton and there is a nucleus and there is one electron revolving but the simple structure holds many potential so one of the potential is that it can decarbonize our most of our sectors so one of the major sector which pollutes our environment and which is leading to what which is leading to global warming is your transportation sector the transportation sector studies show that it contributes around 28 to 30 percent of all the greenhouse gases that, that are produced so there is a movement going on that why not use hydrogen instead of the conventional fuels so what is this let us first try to understand green hydrogen see hydrogen does not exist in free state so hydrogen you will find it exists everywhere it is present in water it is present in your hydrocarbons but if we want to use hydrogen we have to extract the hydrogen from the different sources so when we extract hydrogen from different sources so along with hydrogen we uh, we produce what we produce carbon dioxide because most of these sources are what so let us let us say when we use methane and from this if we want to extract hydrogen so it has carbon and it has hydrogen so we just have to separate out hydrogen so if we heat this in water or in steam so what we get is co2 and we get <clears throat> hydrogen but this hydrogen is not called as green hydrogen why because it is producing hydrogen but along with hydrogen it is producing carbon dioxide which is a greenhouse gas that is why such type of hydrogen that we get is also called as gray hydrogen so you can use natural gas you can use coal or other hydrocarbons so such type of hydrogen are, are called as gray hydrogen if if we absorb this carbon dioxide or if we use this carbon dioxide then what we are doing we are not releasing this carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so in that scenario it is referred as blue hydrogen so if we absorb this carbon dioxide then it becomes what blue hydrogen then what is green hydrogen then green hydrogen the source is different and the way we produce it is also different so the source is water so in presence of electricity or we call it as electrolysis lysis means breakdown breakdown with the help of electricity breakdown of water into hydrogen and oxygen is your electrolysis now this hydrogen that we get is called as green hydrogen and one more criteria is that that the electricity that we are using to produce to do this electrolysis is getting is obtained from what renewable energy sources so in this slide what you can see that we are either using so solar power or we are using wind power and we are using that to break down water and when we are breaking down water we are getting hydrogen and we are getting oxygen so hydrogen we are we can store it in cylinders 
so this hydrogen that we are obtaining from electrolysis of water using renewable electricity is called as your green hydrogen so in this question so this question is about application of green hydrogen specifically more probably in your uh, in your transport sector so the first question or the first statement is that it can be used directly as a fuel for internal combustion so can it be used directly as a fuel so yes even hydrogen can be directly used as a fuel for internal combustion so in internal combustion what is happening either traditionally what we know that we are using a petrol or diesel and that petrol or diesel burns in presence of oxygen and that chemical energy is converted into mechanical energy so we can use hydrogen instead of petrol or diesel also but yes the design would have to be changed but the statement is correct that we can use this as a fuel for internal combustion engine in fact if you look at some of the reports so ernst and young they are pointing it out that it has a lot of potential to decarbonize even the ice engine that is internal combustion engine also so internal combustion engine if they start using hydrogen as a fuel cell sorry hydrogen as a fuel then it can decarbonize the internal combustion engines also so yes it can be used in this also it can be blended with natural gas and used as a fuel for heat or power generation so we are using this now also so you would have heard about hydrogen cng or in cng that is compressed natural gas that is in compressed natural gas we are deliberately blending hydrogen so this is being used in automobiles also so government has recently allowed 18 percent blending of hydrogen in cng so it is being blended in your natural it can be used for as a fuel for heat or for power generation also so your second statement is also correct now let us look at the third statement it can be used in the hydrogen fuel cell so what is this hydrogen fuel cell so hydrogen fuel cell is an electric vehicle so conventionally we know that electric vehicles are only what battery operated electric vehicles but electric vehicles can also be hydrogen fuel cell in battery electric vehicle the electricity is stored in the battery that stored electricity is used to run the motor but in hydrogen fuel cell we are not storing electricity we are producing electricity as and when required the design is very similar to a cell but here we are producing electricity instead of storing electricity so in this slide what you can see that there are hydrogen tanks these tanks are storing the hydrogen and then he, this part is the hydrogen fuel cell this part if you magnify and if you look inside what is happening here so what you are seeing that hydrogen is entering from one end and oxygen is entering from another end in order to produce electricity what is electricity electricity is flow of electron so in this fuel cell design the idea is that how we are able to flow the electron so what we have we have anode and cathode here and we have a catalyst here so when hydrogen enters from this side so hydrogen splits into the ion so it will form h plus and electron will separate this this membrane that you are seeing is a selective membrane why it is called as a selective membrane it will allow the h plus to move in this direction it will allow the h plus to move in this direction but it doesn't allow the electron to move in this direction so the electron is forced to move in this circuit so the electron is forced to move in this circuit and this is how electricity is produced in a hydrogen fuel cell so hydrogen fuel cell based electric vehicles have lot of potential compared to let us say battery operated electric vehicle so in battery operated electric vehicle there is a concern with respect to range that there is a range anxiety but here you wouldn't have range anxiety why because whenever you are whenever you the fuel is finishing off or getting exhausted you can just refill refill the fuel so refueling time is very less range is quite long that is the major advantage with respect to let us say your battery operated electric vehicle there are other advantages also like so here the fuel cell fuel cell they won't age like your batteries so batteries lithium based batteries they will age and after let us say seven eight years they will have to be disposed of so that brings environmental challenges also 
but here you won't face such type of scenario so hydrogen fuel cell based electric vehicles they have a lot of potential in fact to showcase this our transport minister had used a toyota mirai car to go to parliament uh, a year back so he just wanted to promote that uh, electric vehicles can also be hydrogen fuel cell based electric vehicles also so coming back to the question so the third statement it can be used in the hydrogen fuel cell to run vehicles this is also correct so the correct answer here is all three statements are correct 